In this problem, Miss Carlson plans to bake cookies for a class party. She asked the students in her class to name their favorite cookies. The students' choices are shown in the table below. So here's our table, and if you notice in, in this column right here, it says type, which means the type of cookie, and they list them all out here. Chocolate chip, oatmeal, ginger snap, and peanut butter. And over here in this column, they tell us the number of students. And here, this 15 means that 15 students liked chocolate chip. And this 6 means that 6 students liked oatmeal. This 9 means that 9 students like ginger snap. And this question mark tells me that they want to know something. They want to know from us. What's the number of students who ate peanut butter cookies? Well, we need a little bit more information. Because our goal here, this is, a, this is called a frequency table. You might see that name. Frequency table. And that's because it's a, it's a table or a graph that shows you the frequency. Frequency is how, how often something's happening. And that's what these numbers are here. They just tell us how often our students are choosing that type of cookie. So part of what this question is asking, and I, I cut it off here, but it's asking you to create a pictograph. And a pictograph is just a picture of a frequency table. It's almost identical. So we can extend this table to turn it into a pictograph, right? So here, I'll extend these lines. Sorry, the lines aren't, aren't very neat. And again, this is just a number of students that like a certain type of cookie. But um, instead of writing numbers, we're, gonna, we're going to draw pictures. It's a picture graph or a pictograph. So how do we do that? Well, in this problem, like, like any other problem with a, a pictograph, you either create or you're given a key. And the key here was, was given to us. We're told that if you see an X, that means three cookies. So instead of writing a number, we draw a certain amount of X's. So in this first one for chocolate chip, there are 15 students that chose that. So we're going to count in X's, one for three, two for six students, three for nine, four for 12, and five for 15 students. And as a shortcut, you could have divided. 15 divided by three is five X's, right? Because we want to know how many X's it takes to make this number. So the answer is five X's, right? Because each X covers three students. Here for the oatmeal, we only need one, two X's here to represent the number of students that liked oatmeal cookies because two times three is six. For ginger snap, we only need three X's. And then what they gave us in this problem is one, two, three, four X's. And they ask us, well, then how many students had peanut butter? Well, you need a key, and we have one, right? Every time you see an X, that means three students chose that cookie. I wrote three cookies here, but that means that three of those types of cookies were chosen. So here, one, two, three, four X's, and each X represents three people that chose peanut butter. So altogether, we have three plus three plus three plus three, or three times four students, which is just 12. So you could say here that 12 students chose peanut butter, and that's only because they gave us the X's here, and we use those to figure out the number of students with, once we had our key, which is kind of like our map, to whatever symbols are we're drawing in the pictograph. All right, thanks.